Hey everyone, welcome back to Bitcoin Dorks. Today, we've got a special focus on Asia's cryptocurrency landscape. We're covering Thailand's new national airdrop, some unfortunate news for Delio users, and why Vietnam is emerging as a crypto powerhouse. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Let's kick things off with Thailand's national airdrop. We're talking about a national government taking steps to directly engage with blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. Thailand is launching its own national airdrop, where it will be distributing digital currency to its citizens. Imagine getting an email from your government saying, hey, check your crypto wallet, we just sent you some tokens. This is huge for mass adoption. Not only does it get people familiar with digital wallets and cryptocurrency transactions, but it also adds a layer of legitimacy to the whole ecosystem governments getting involved in a positive way? That's a big win in my book. Now, on to the Delio situation. If you're one of the unfortunate users who had their funds on the Delio platform, things are not looking great. Without getting too deep into the weeds, let's just say that the platform is facing some serious allegations, and its users are, well, screwed. It's a grim reminder that not everything is sunshine and rainbows in the crypto world. Always remember the golden rule, don't invest more than you can afford to lose and be cautious about where you put your money. Due diligence is more than just a catchphrase, it's a necessity. This Delio incident serves as a wake-up call for all of us. Always do your own research, and be skeptical when something seems too good to be true because it probably is. And finally, let's shift our focus to Vietnam, a nation that is rapidly emerging as a powerhouse in the cryptocurrency landscape. Now, hold on to your hats, folks, because what's happening in Vietnam is nothing short of revolutionary. According to the latest data, Vietnam is at the forefront of cryptocurrency adoption in Asia. That's right, we're not talking about crypto stalwarts like South Korea or Japan, we're talking about Vietnam. A country that many might not immediately associate with cutting-edge tech or financial innovation. This rise to prominence is especially compelling when you consider Vietnam's economic background. The country has a burgeoning economy but is still considered a developing nation. What's remarkable here is that a high number of Vietnamese citizens are turning to cryptocurrencies for more than just speculative investment. They're using it as an alternative to traditional financial systems, which often come with cumbersome procedures and limitations. This is particularly relevant in a country where a large proportion of the population is unbanked or underbanked. In addition to the general interest in cryptocurrencies, what's particularly notable is the broadening scope of financial opportunities that Vietnamese investors are recognizing in this domain. This isn't just about buying Bitcoin and holding onto it in the hopes of price appreciation. No, what we're seeing in Vietnam is a comprehensive, well-rounded engagement with the full spectrum of the crypto ecosystem. First, let's talk about altcoins. Bitcoin may be the most well-known cryptocurrency, but it's not the only game in town. Vietnamese investors are increasingly diversifying their portfolios by exploring lesser-known but promising altcoins. From Ethereum to Cardano, Chainlink, and beyond, these alternative investments offer different use cases and potentially higher returns, albeit with greater volatility and risk. This kind of diversification shows a sophisticated understanding of the market, far beyond the one-note strategy of hoarding Bitcoin. Second, there's the growing interest in decentralized finance, or DeFi, projects. For the uninitiated, DeFi platforms allow for financial transactions like borrowing, lending, or asset trading, all without the need for traditional financial intermediaries like banks. In Vietnam, where a significant portion of the population doesn't have easy access to conventional banking systems, DeFi provides an enticing alternative. People are not just investing in DeFi projects, they're using them to earn interest, take out loans, and transact in a more open financial system. And let's not forget about non-fungible tokens or NFTs. The Vietnamese are also getting involved in the cultural and artistic aspects of the crypto world. NFTs, unique digital assets verified using blockchain technology, are allowing people to buy, sell, and own digital art, collectibles, and even virtual real estate. This shows that the interest in crypto is not just financially driven, it's also about participating in the broader digital renaissance that's reshaping how we think about ownership, art, and value. In summary, the Vietnamese approach to cryptocurrency is holistic and highly informed, demonstrating a level of maturity that goes beyond simple speculation. Whether it's asset diversification, practical application in the form of DeFi, or cultural investment through NFTs, the citizens of Vietnam are showing us that there's more than one way to engage with the exciting and ever-expanding world of crypto.
All right, folks, that wraps up today's deep dive into some of Asia's hottest crypto topics, from Thailand's groundbreaking national airdrop to the cautionary tale of Delio's unfortunate circumstances, and of course, Vietnam's remarkable ascent as a crypto powerhouse. If you've been around in the crypto space for a while, you know how fast things can change. That's why it's crucial to keep your finger on the pulse, and there's no better way to do that than by subscribing to Bitcoin Dorks. This is Bitcoin Dorks, signing off. Remember, the future of finance is decentralized, and it's unfolding right before our eyes. Thank you for joining us today.